This nibble originally aired on RSBMB Update, episode 866, Ring Around the Ripper. Enjoy. Added map blocking to the Ripper Demon Cave to prevent players from negating their attacks using a combat dummy. Yeah. You gonna explain this, Shane? Yeah, so basically what was happening with this is that uh, there was a certain part of the Ripper Cave where if you put down a combat dummy... You could effectively AFK there safely, either by using magic or using the magic cannon and farm Ripper Demon kills. So as a result of this, it would make it so that they didn't do their special attack, which is the one-hit KO that we all know and love. <laughs> but the story's not over with this one. If you um, bring an alt and a dummy... You can put the dummy in a certain spot and put the alt in a certain spot, and you have exactly the same thing that you had previously. Yeah, There's, I've heard. I've heard that there are a couple other ways to do this. So it seems like just an interesting. I mean, this is a good conversation to have. I think right? it is because the question. The question here is like, the people are doing this because it is. Like, it is more money per hour than the hardest bosses in the game by a good margin, right? Uh, which is something. And people are finding ways to make it work, but the question is, should it be that much money, and is there a problem with the supply system for how these pouches come into the game then? Yeah. And then from the other side of it, you can ask the question... These things are supposed to have a near instant instant death mechanic where they can kill you so quickly. Maybe the entire environment needs to be redesigned in such a way that you shouldn't be able to do this in there at all. True. And that's the two different angles that you can take from this. And I know and I know even within Clan Quest there's been a good deal of speculation leading up to the patch note with knowing this was going to be fixed this week. Um, just in terms of what might happen to the Ripper Demon prices, but to my knowledge, nothing has happened to the Ripper Demon familiar oh. prices currently. Oh, this. they doubled on Monday. Oh, Shane. they did. Okay, they went from 100k to to two over 200k a piece. They're currently sitting about 150. Okay, people so figured, they went. We figured out the method. I mean, okay. somewhat, but they're only because people have figured out other ways to cheese this. The uncheesed price on this is still a lot. Tannis, yeah. What should we do about this? What do you think? What do you think? I, I, I'm I'm gonna lean towards here, Shane. I want your opinion. You tell me what. Buff, well, buff steel titans. <laughs> That's one way I'm, of doing I'm, it. Yeah, I don't. I don't believe in turning bugs into features. So, hmm. that being said, I think it needs to be corrected. Um, with that, maybe, perhaps. There should be another way, or at least components. Um, I, I don't know. Maybe another way um, for these pouches to get in the game. Because well, you know, it, it's a it binding is... contract, and the very design of the binding contract says that you need to kill the creature to create the pouch. Well, if you created yeah, two or three true. of them at a time and they were noted, potentially, right? Like, I mean, that still wouldn't fix the problem. You'd still have people do, like cheesing this, but the idea is that you drive the price down some without yeah. flooding the, the economy with them. And just make it so that they're... like the, the problem is that all Demon Slayer tasks after the Binding Contract update became ridiculous money. They're just... The, everything is so good. Uh, because especially anything that gets used, like gargoyles too, are actually really good money for the same reason. Um, but like, you have to these. There's just so much more money than other Slayer tasks, and so if you reset it so that the, the people that want, did them for Slayer got rewarded for killing them for Slayer, but not like rewarded for killing them off Slayer at like this level, it's just that it's so much money, right? right. It's just it's. You're better off doing this than you are finding a team of people oh, yeah. and just spamming Angel of Death or true, like really challenging group content. Which is crazy because Wand and Orb prices as a result of updates are also crazy right now. Right. Like, this is still better. Uh, see, so. I, I would love, like, I like the idea of, how, of having it tied to Slayer, but... But then the price I mean, would go up even further. No, and I'm not, well, I'm not arguing that you do it for that. Slayer. I mean, I really don't. 
I don't have a problem with that. Like the idea behind the binding contract is you kill the demon and bind it. So right. buying it is a get is a workaround anyway. So whatever. I the should... problem is though, how do you tie it with the archaeology? Because that's what brought in the contract. Well, the money. I mean, and again, I think like I don't want to. I don't want to say that you don't get them off. Like you need to do them on Slayer Task. My thing was more like the pouches should be cheaper. There should be less incentive for people to kill these. Right. There's too much incentive for people to do to kill them and to cheese it and to look for bugs for for this right now because, because they're too expensive. Because effectively, from aside from a couple of familiars, this is the best in slot damage familiar. A couple of instances rather where you'd want to use something else. Right. And those instances okay. are like, well, it might be better. We're just not quite sure. Yeah. Um, looking at you next, um, and kind of nowhere else. Maybe Virago. <laughs> So, yeah, yeah. And that's my general sentiment yeah. of what I've been doing is that if I'm not bringing a Yak, I'm bringing a Ripper Demon. Oh man, you know what? You know ones. what? You know what the answer is? It hurts, guys. <laughs> okay. It hurts. It's non-tradable. Maybe I'm not. It's a the pole. overload. It's the overload. It's the overload the of summoning. Mm-hmm. I mean, it, you the want problem the is best. that you also require. I mean, actually, that requires ninety six Slayer as well. Which, yeah. let's be honest, Pressure Hunter exists, but like, it, it, yeah. I mean, it's an option. I mean, that like that locks. Yeah, actually, I don't think there's any of the binding contract familiars that don't re- that require an unreasonable Slayer level for the benefit they give you. It's actually a really good, interesting point. Say that again. Not there. Like so. The other, like, like, the ones that are used regularly, like, the Blood Reavers are another good example where, like, they're useful, but it's, like, niche, and you use them in some setups um, for, like, especially poison whittling things down. Um, or, like, gargoyles, right? Gargoyles yeah. are the big one because they're, so, they're the best in slot for mining. But gargoyles require 76 Slayer, and 76 Slayer, to have something that is slightly better than a Lava Titan, seems reasonable to me. Right. Like, there's none of these that, like, it's it's a terrible idea to make them untradeable as a as a pouch because of the slayer level that that adds to the requirement for it. And I wonder, I wonder, I wonder what the breakdown on the kind of people that buy the Ripper Demon is. So we should also clarify too. The other problem with this is th- is that and they they made a patch to try to fix this and crazy that it hasn't. I mean, it drove down the the problem with these originally was that they cost. I mean, before they patched it so that they the pouches turn into more scrolls, right? Yep. Um, and and that drove the price down from ridiculous where it, like currently where it is actually sitting at GE value at the moment we're recording this. A little above 150, 180, something in that range. It drove that price down to like, you know, 80, 60, 70K for a while per pouch because you would just get more scrolls. Because the scrolls are how their pouches are actually getting used. They're not really just being used as familiars, they're being used for the scrolls, which do yeah. nutty damage. Yeah. Um, and like you go through, th- you know, currently even like 15 pouches worth of scrolls and it solid hour of spamming oh, yeah. summoning potions using Ripper Demons, right? Um, so that's the people that would use them is that, like, those people would just need a, a ton of them. And everybody else is just like, yeah, I'll use one or two occasionally. <laughs> but, yeah. It's 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 a really interesting question of economy where this best-in-slot thing gets consumed at massive rates. Um, well, if you I mean, think it, about it, like back in the day, if you think about where the game was when Overload came out, mm-hmm. people would have paid any price. Oh, true. You, you you had to have it right. If you were going to go do the top end content, it was a must have. You were going to pay whatever you needed to pay. True. So and, it's, and that's I mean, it's still not that crazy. It's, it's not still that currently happening there. with these. That I mean, that's the that's the whole point, yeah. right? Is that the people are paying currently massive money for them. And the problem is that is incentivizing people to find ways to to which I mean maybe the ways shouldn't exist to begin with right like the security through obscurity bad argument but you know I just feel like there's too much incentive right now to to kill these like the reward is is too great for for the content which is hard a hard argument to make to you know 
Somebody's yeah. having fun with it. Take yeah. Well, even even if just like you're not, they're not going to be doing that at the same rate either. If it's untradeable, because oh, at best, oh, for sure. you're going to be setting you'd, yourself up. Maybe you know. I you'd mean, make a lot of people unhappy if they were if they were if they were untradeable. Oh no, I know. They, we'll probably just, get hate some people, mail. <laughs> no, some people would be. It's not a bad like, idea. Like the people, the people like David, right? Would just half their PVM life for every hour they spend. Yeah. EVMing, they'd spend you know five, rippers, minutes, killing, five like, minutes killing ripper humans. Yeah, which, which is like, is that something you want to do? I mean, if like there are a handful of people who can, again, like the the methods to kill ripper demons without uh, multiple at a time, right? Like with a cannon, those kind of things, they're really challenging to pull off without dying. Like it is, it is an incredibly high skill ceiling. That's like you you need either a lot of practice or a lot of pvm knowledge and even then you're still dying a lot yeah like it is a really challenging thing to do and without that like you're spending a lot of time collecting these pouches even beyond actually running to create the contracts um which given those people are already doing this right like this is why this is so much money because it takes a lot of time to accrue them in the volume that get used so there's a supply demand issue there's a bug issue i don't know yeah so tannis's solution is to make him untradeable what's your what's your position actually i mean it's a great question i think that they just shouldn't be i would the untradeable thing i actually do like that a lot i think that's a really good option to consider just because i mean it does solve a lot of the problems i mean the, the core issue here is that i think they're too expensive and yeah. it's not too expensive for what they give you that's too expensive for what like the time that gets put into making yeah i agree right? like i see it what is, you mean. it becomes too much of a chunk of the like if double the people did them and they were half the price because of it like that is now just an incredibly large portion of the game of the like game world and the players who just earn all of their money through ripper demons like there's just a huge population of people and like they're used by a huge population of people so maybe that's fair my solution, probably the closest thing to this would be, like, I would just double down on the scrolls. Like, the problem is they're just being used too fast, right? There's too much demand for the supply for these, and it's driving the price to be silly. So add more scrolls. I would just, yeah, honestly, just drop it to 40 or 50. Make it ridiculous. Just, you know, double the number of scrolls you get per pouch. That would be... And I know it's it's a patch for the for the problem, maybe. But if you you just need to find a balance there, right? Where yeah. They're worth money. They're worth the time. If you're doing them on Slayer, it's a great, nice little boost you get. But it's not like it currently is, where it is literally the best way to earn money in this game. It is not possible to beat that without like gambling or doing something else that is like either incredibly luck based or incredibly sketchy. Yeah, and and with and that the more gambling. And with that, oh, that rip. completely underscores why this is a problem. Um, for me, I fall down on the side of fixing the in, the environment just to make it so that it's not possible to do this. But mm. we thought that would be fixed this week, but lo and behold, it was not. I mean, if you made a perfectly round chamber, yeah, maybe exactly, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> exactly I mean, which aesthetically pleasing but it's what it is yeah all right maybe i mean you'd still have the problem with the supply then right like, then ripper demons just cost four hundred thousand. like they just become prohibitively expensive to use but so was the grimoire and the grimoire was still used so what do i know yeah <laughs> You can find full episodes of RSBNB Update right here on this YouTube channel. If you found this video useful or just enjoyed it, like and subscribe, or leave a comment.